You may be surprised to discover that learning doesn't stop when you leave school. The world of technology is so fast paced that it's necessary to regularly take time out to learn about the latest advances in electronics and computer programming. If engineers didn't continually keep their skills up to date, we would never have the improvements we see in electronic devices we use every day. Microchip has long recognized this and over a decade ago created a special annual conference just for engineers. Named Masters, the conference offers more than 80 classes over five days, with the classes being taught not by teachers, but by the engineers and staff that actually design and make the electronic components needed in all the appliances we see around us. And these days, there are even more female engineers taking on the exciting challenges this industry has to offer. We got the chance to catch up with a few of them at the conference and found out how they got started in this exciting industry. Uh, my name is Kim Otten. They call me a technical staff engineer. What that kind of means is I get to play with pretty much anything I want. I'm pretty lucky. I get to play with a lot of new technologies, new emerging technologies. The current thing that I'm doing right now is working with Apple and iPods. So I get to make things that work with iPods. I get to deal with people from all over the world, um, California, China, Europe, everywhere. In school I was always interested in math and science and computers were new, um, fancy programmable calculators were new. I really wasn't sure what exactly I wanted to do in school, but I knew it was, it was probably something with engineering. When I got into, engineer, into university, I took a lot of the different engineering classes, was exposed to all sorts of engineering programs, and just discovered that I loved computer programming. You can't go wrong with math and science. They lead to so many opportunities that if you get that as a good base, you know, feel free to try things, experiment with things. Don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry about looking silly because you won't. People will be proud of you for trying. And while you're doing it, see what you're having fun with. It's very, the, the culture is very international. Currently, I'm working with a lot of China customers, with a lot of India customers. The cultural differences are, are fascinating. Thanks, Kim, for sharing your experience with us. Our next female engineer came to us all the way from Dublin, Ireland. As a girl especially, you know, don't ever be told that you can't do anything or that you're not the right type for, for anything. I think there is a tendency in school to kind of put people in boxes and to say, well, you know, you're a girl, you, you don't do maths or you don't do physics or you don't do the more advanced um, engineering topics. But I don't think that's true. I chose to do engineering, so basic engineering, it was um, a common course, so you did a common first year and then in second year you could choose between electronic engineering, mechanical, civil and chemical engineering. It was a nice easy introduction into engineering I suppose. A couple of hundred years ago they thought the world was flat, you know, there have been you know, we've always thought that we've reached the highest limit that we can reach and there's a tendency to think that these days even, you know, our mobile phones can't get any smaller, our communications can't get any faster, but I think there's always scope to develop and to improve these things, so I think the sky's the limit. You can dream and you can imagine how you can make things better. Wow Deidre, those were some useful tips. Let's see what our next female engineer has for us from Mexico. I'm from Mexico City, so I'm a Mexican girl. I'm an FAE, I'm a field application engineer. I'm pretty much the girl that goes out to the customers and talk to them, see what are their new designs, their needs, how we can help them to get their stuff done. And it's pretty much a hands-on hands -on work. We travel a lot. I have been in uh, Argentina, Chile. Of course, I cover Mexico, and I have worked with also um, some U.S. customers. So it's a pretty interesting work. Well, I was that kind of girl that is always interested in how things work. 
So I was the kind of girl that take the radio and take all the pieces all around and at the end try to put everything together and it doesn't work and well. Um, and that's like the, the beginning of my uh, career as an engineer and always trying to find out how things work. A camera, it was really hard. It was, was one of my favorite uh, dad stuff. So I was always curious on how you take a picture and that image get into the film and how that is working, right? So I take out the lens and I think, oh, it was a mess. And my dad was, of course, very, very upset with me. <laughs> I um, study my university or college at, um, it's called, I'm going to say it in Spanish, it's Instituto Tecnológico de Monterrey at Mexico City. And I study there what it's called um, electronic and communication engineer. It's a four and a half years career. And later on, I get a master's in uh, New Mexico State University in um, Master in Science and Electrical Engineering. Technology is all around. Everywhere you see your cellular, the TV, everywhere you see, even the kitchen, everywhere it's technology. The thing is that population is growing up a lot. And if we want to make an impact on that, uh, the way the, 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 that population is living, a really good way is the technology. Chicas, el mundo nos necesita y necesitamos muchas más ingenieras que puedan hacer cosas para que el mundo sea un lugar feliz. Three female engineers from three different cultures, but one common bond a passion for wanting to know how things work and how to make those things work better. However, as Kim said, the road to success is not easy. Science and math obviously play an important role from the academic perspective, but the rewards can be great. As Deidre mentioned, you can impact people's quality of life and save energy. And Delia made the most crucial point of all, you have to try doing it yourself. Take something apart to see how it works and be sure to put it back together. Why not visit our website to learn more about how microchip impacts your life? Ask your science teacher about engineering or ask that engineering aunt and uncle what they do all day at work. And don't forget, your eye can is just as important as your IQ. For Microchip Technology, I'm Sherry Keller.